Bush Goblins by H. M. Green. Read for LibriVox.org by Clarica. The locust drones along the drowsy noon. The brown bee lingers in the yellow foam. Blossom on blossom searching deep, but soon slides heavily winged home. The vacant air, half visible, complains, all overburdened of its noontide hour. Sound after sound in heavy silence wanes at the strong sun's burning power. Let the strong sun burn down the barren plain, and scour the empty heaven, and twist the air to filmiest flickerings o'er us in vain. His hollow vault doth glare. For us gnarled boughs and massive boles o'er shade, and tall bulrushes guard us with green spears from the grim noon. Our dewy-jeweled glade never a footstep nears. Come feast with us, behold our fragrant store of candied locusts, that no longer drone through summer eves, but, transmigrated, pour thin goblin monotone. Through eucalyptine stillness, as we rouse our gnomy anthem to the answering trees, while gold-eyed toad guards of our hidden house croak full-fed choruses. Come visit us, O oh, follow till you find, in some green shade, our secret banquetings, where brolgas dance, and some great stem behind, a hidden lyre-bird sings. Ask of the eagle-hawk in the blue air, ask of the chattering parrot he should tell, fat possum in the tree-bowl, furry bear, us beast and bird know well. The silver lizard on the sun-baked stone, the green-flecked tree-snake in his circle coiled, Dreaming of evil, man, and man alone missed us, howe'er he toiled. Come feast thou with us, ancient kings of all. We are the mystery at the heart of noon, weird, unseen chucklers when long shadows fall from the misleading moon. We are the spirits of distorted trees. We beckon down dim gullies, far astray, till lost, deep lost, the wild-eyed traveller sees dark at the heart of day. And, oh, we laughed about his last choked groans beside the water that he sought so long, and, oh, we danced about his clean-picked bones to a gnomy undersong. For all the day we chuckle and provoke with mocking shapes and noises each bright hour, but when dark even from his grave hath broke, then we are lords of power. End of poem this recording is in the public domain.